from my point of view as a practical musician, although I have myself tried to uh, play most of these works in the way they were actually written at that time, although, mark you, we do not know how they were performed, because we're also well aware that Handel improvised himself on either the, the harpsichord, the clavichord, or the organ, and we didn't know what he did. And it's futile, and it's vain to try and revive the conditions under which they were played at that time. The whole point is that the public will not listen to them in the old conditions. How can they? The public has now been brought up for a hundred years with the sound in its ears of Weber, of Berlioz, and Wagner, and Strauss, and the brilliant French masters. And it isn't reasonable to expect they're going to sit down for two hours, two hours and a half, and listen to the sort of instrumentation provided by poor dear George Frederick. They will not, they do not, and they never will. And the people who want to object to that sort of thing and say, now we must return, are just <coughs> foolish idealists. In fact, the purists, or I may include the majority of uh, musicologists.